This 23-year-old medical student has her act together. She graduated from U of M with a degree in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience. So, how does a person in a wheelchair who needs daily assistance become adept at independence and finding good caregivers on a college campus? Figure out how to live independently while depending on others to take care of me trying to find that balance and try not to let it overwhelm me. Initially, we were running newspaper ads and trying to solicit staff that way. And um, she started putting ads out on campus and started to solicit um, students who were like in medical fields and then also be able to use their experiences as part of their clinical um, curriculum. I wasn't really nervous because I had a good feel that Life Center had a good hold of it because they sort they motivated me and they they told me that everything will be fine, and I took that dear to heart. During the semester, Miriam may have five or more students who are also her staff helping with things she needs. She says she doesn't really feel like they're working for her. Rather, they're just hanging out and having fun. Miriam says she knows right away if the person she's interviewing for the job is going to work out. If they're respectable and nice, and um, if they respect the way I live and how I am, it can seem scary because you're like taking care of someone or someone's like life is in your hands, but don't think of it that way. Like you're there to like hang out with this person, help them, and you're just their hands and feet. As Miriam continues reaching for and achieving her goals, she never forgets how hard her family has worked to get where they are today. I need to do something because if they did something, then I can definitely do something. And disability or not, it shouldn't, it just, you shouldn't let that affect you.